Hey, I'm actually going to be sewing in this video. A friend mentioned that we should do a video I'm actually sewing. So I'm going to be working in one of the circle skirts. Um, you'll hear another machine going. Dave's actually working on pillowcases on his machine right over here right next to me. Um, so let me set mine to the overlock stitch. It's number 11 on mine. Okay, have the right foot. I do have the right foot on. I have the right needle. All right. Woo! That one flying. <laughs> I did not mean for that clip to go flying. All right. Let's get these little tail ends so they don't. Get in the way. I do not have a serger. I'm not, well, technically we have one, but I don't know how to use it and it's packed away. So the overlock search is amazing. Dave just learned how to use his and he's using it right now on the inside of a pillowcase that he's making. over a little bit. We'll have to watch that. There we go. It's going to be part of a whole outfit. I have a top that has a hood and a cape that goes with it. And I plan on making some knee high socks too. actually it won't go up tonight but it's actually New Year's Eve and this is how we're spending our New Year's Eve. We're home sewing. Both on a machine and each working on a project. Let me do this knot now, because with the stitch it doesn't do the back stitch, it does a knot. Alright, 
this fabric. I'm definitely going to have to clean out my machine because it leaves a lot of fuzz. It's going to be all, all in there. All right, let me go grab another panel for this because we have two sides put together of the skirt. And there's four panels total. Brought the other one just over closer. to the top doing it here lined up and I don't know where that clip went that flew flying but I'm gonna start clipping this together I guess this is actually my last project of 2020. You having problems over there? No, I said I love this. Oh, you love it. I thought yeah. you were sighing at it. <laughs> Are you done with your project? Space llamas are done. Space llama pillowcase. You want to show show what you worked on? Yeah. I'll just hand it to you. Here. Can it's can you space llamas? You can see kind of close up of the fabric. Isn't that cute? That's a pillowcase and it's polka dots at the top. We have like a llama themed. Yep, see this polka dots at the top. We have a llama like themed bedroom so space and space llamas you go work on another one or not now that's enough okay more tomorrow so new year's day he's we're both planning doing more sewing tomorrow My goal is to have this skirt done, and if anything, the, the uh, socks will be part of my first project of 2021. Unless I get really motivated to make it tonight, but I doubt it because I have to make the pattern because they're taller than my usual sock pattern. <laughs> oh, I'm going to clip that a little lower because this fabric can be slick. And it likes to slide. And here we go. One more piece on here. I have some fun. He's getting ready to feed Tiny and Stella, which I should make her some new dresses soon. I have never did any of the videos or anything with making her dresses because I was doing that before I started making my clothes. Maybe I'll start doing some clothes and then you see her little tiny three and a half pound self. She's a little chihuahua. Lots of attitude in that tiny little body. It's heavy so it can kind of pull down on like some of the other fabrics. I 
I didn't realize quite how heavy it was until I had the cape and the hood and everything and lifted up the shirt and it was like, ooh, that's, that's a, quite a, quite a weight on a little shirt, but so already this outfit is so amazing. It's better than I thought it would be. I can't wait for you guys to see the whole finished outfit. I plan on wearing it to go get my hair done and I figured I'd get some cute pictures after my hair is all styled and looks good because as you guys seen before from like the Captain Marvel 1 and stuff video Angel always makes my hair look amazing. much better than it looks right now because right now I just did this horrible like partial just weird ponytail thing going on just uh, as I work and so <laughs> I, I put the cape the shirt on with the cape and I, I feel like total soka vibes I feel like I should be dual wielding some a couple some lightsabers and everything again there's no what the hell's wrong with her? I don't know what she's doing tiny's doing something <laughs> she's back here behind us I don't know what she's doing behind me <sighs> so we have one two three of the panels one more panel to go um, I can add the waistband tonight to him it usually I've always been told it's if it's told it's best to let it hang and that before I hang it hem it let it fall all out so it's even so no hemming it tonight so it will not be I guess it won't be totally completed for 2020 but hey I was wrong but mostly It was definitely looking at the pattern for the shirt. It's from George. Dave's in the background talking to the cat. She has become a cat that totally begs. <laughs> she was not that way before. We kind of spoiled her. She doesn't get much food, but yeah, she gets a little treats here and there. Especially she begs for the dog's food. She has plenty of cat food. She doesn't need it, but she begs for it. Did you eat? Oh, that's a treat. <laughs> oh, you, oh, you ate it. No, you didn't eat your food. He's trying, oh, you did eat your food. He's trying to figure out what's all the going on with these animals. Good and for you, Tiny. They're eating. Way to go. The other night, she was making us hand feed her. So, she's uh, a little difficult at times. But we love her. She's spoiled. All right, he's turning on the TV, so I'm gonna turn this oh, off. All right, I turned it back on. He he's decided he turned off the TV, so I didn't have the background noise. Um, all right, so we're still pinning, uh, using the clips on that last panel piece of the skirt, and getting that on. Yeah, this is one reason I love circle skirts. They're so simple to make. They're fast little makes, and they're cute. Plus, I just got two different petticoats, a white one and a black one, and the poof they add. Oh, I can't wait to get pictured with this outfit with the petticoats, too. So excited. It's going to add that poof under there and look so good. 
Yeek. But, alright, so. Oh, what is it doing? Again, this fabric is heavy and it's slick. So sometimes it moves in on me and stuff. So sometimes I have to readjust it. Which I'm doing right now. So. Uh, where is it? Okay. I think it's good. Alright. Put these little tails threads back here so they don't get caught up in here. We don't want that. It's definitely never fun when that happens. All right, so let's see. Put this under here. There we go. Now I gotta look sometime and see if my machine has a uh, zipper foot because I have a cosplay I was working on that I gotta finish because if not then I might have to use Dave's machine that does so I can work on finishing the cosplay I started. It was supposed to be a Christmas one but with it being red and not being done in time we decided, I decided I can just do um, Valentine's Day. This fabric's being, like I said, slick and it's giving me issues this time. But it's okay. Just gotta sometimes keep an eye on it. All the problems I've had with it moving around and everything's gonna be worth it when it's all finished because. I already seen the top. It's almost done. And it looks so good. I'm so happy with it. And then we do the waistband and then like I said the skirt will have to hang because you gotta let it hang out and before you hang before you do the hem to slide at times, but it's okay. I'm sure I'm going to have to do the bobbin soon, because overlock that makes a lot of the bobbin. Alright, let's see. We're still finishing up this side. Sliding. Okay. Yes, there we go. Wants to slide on me so much. This fabric's being difficult, but it again, it will be worth it.
Oh, the bobbin ran out. Uh, I said that was going to happen soon. Uh, oh. I don't know if you can see that in there. It's all fuzzy. Like I said, that's going to have to get really cleaned out. That's... I'm going to have to take that all apart, clean that out, because this fabric is really bad for that. It's going to be all in there. Definitely a project that, after this is all done, definitely a new needle before I do anything else. Went through the... Bullet bobbin. Oof. This part gets boring. We just gotta wait for this thing to fill. Waiting for it to fill. So it's a pillow talk marathon. Who are you talking to? I'm over here doing a video. I'm doing a video so I'm still waiting for my bobbin to yeah, fill. Okay. You can have a little narrative there at the bottom. I guess he's watching, he likes like 90 Day Fiance and that stuff, and he's watching the marathon for that. And the pill truck. We missed Marcel at Anna's wedding, so I got to see it on pill talk. Okay. All right, Tiny, come on, let's go. Where are you? It's still just going. But this is, while we wait, this will be the fabric for the waistband. And kind of a galaxy type print to go. And that also lines the inside of the cape of the shirt. And then the main part of the shirt has a um, fabric from Notorious. I'm going to take a sip of water. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's going. <laughs> it's right so slow. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I got all my patterns cut out here, the ones I've worked on masks I'm going to make and that to take. Yes. To a shop. Yeah, the masks are going to a shop. I have uh, some other items that went to a shop. The bottom's getting there. Yay! And then this will be, that side will be about done and I'll have one more side to do. Yay! It's done. back through I don't I used to be so intimidated by the idea of like threading through the machine I, I don't know why I always thought I wouldn't ever be able to do it I thought if I did learn the mach machine so that it was something that I was always I mean threading the needle wasn't something I was concerned about it was the threading up through and that knowing how to do it I was so afraid it was something that was always going to be a thing that, no, I need Dave to come do it. And I, I just thought I would never learn. I, the threading the actual needle wasn't scary to me. I, or a big deal to me. I had to thread that so many times from my mom and stuff. She had, she always had troubles threading the needle and then younger crust when my grandma did cross stitching and stuff I always threaded her needles and I used to hand sew before I was doing the machine and I could I was threading the needles just fine it wasn't that part wasn't an issue it, I just was intimidated by that part the order and how you do it and it just I don't know didn't think I'd be able to figure it out <laughs> some reason 
Oh, let me speed that back up. It was slowed down for the... If it got stretched when I got cut, well, but it's long on that side there. We'll figure it out when we uh, go to hem it. Probably have to trim it up. But this fabric had gave me a pain, was being a pain at times when I was cutting it. So we'll, fi we'll figure it out. So now we'll bring it over here. side clip 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 where's the bottom let's see let's see if it was how it is Clip. I didn't use these clips for so long when finally I did and oh they're so great. I love them. People were talking about they were better than pins for the most part, you know, for most things. And they really are. I don't know why I didn't listen, but now that I did, um, they are so much better. And she makes some stuff so much easier, like waistbands and neckbands. And stuff is much easier with the clips instead of the the, the regular pins. Let's see. Just
Usually I have something like Murder TV, like that's what I always refer to as ID Snapped, you know, those type of shows, ID channel, I Snapped, so that going on in the background, or The Office, Bob's Burgers, on um, while I do my sewing. But figured it's not the best idea to have that going as I'm making the video. Here. Like I said, this stuff's slick and moves. Well, come through. I always check that stuff, especially with the slick fabrics that move. You want to check for that type of problems. Yeah, right like there, I had a hole where it moves, so hopefully catch it now and we should be good no more hole so let me get this we have now done all four parts of the skirt so now we'll work on the waistband let's look this over here real quick we'll do it. And 16 and a half inches long, folded in half, plus on the fold, um, and then six inches wide. So we will come here, turn it right sides together, clip. Maybe I can turn this so you can see the machine a little better. Ooh, it needs to be cleaned. All right. Turn it up under there. going on me. Oh, what happened here? My, oh, my thread got all, oh, that's not good. Let's see what happened. try that again if it's not good then we may 
need to, it might need to be cleaned and worked on. So, let's see. Or the needle may need to be changed too because that could always, one of the biggest things if you're having a problem with the machine, it's usually the needle first. Actually, no problem threading. There we go. Let's see how she does now. Since it was being a little weird, I might go back through and do some stitches towards the bottom just to make sure this is secure because I'm not feeling completely secure with it. With what it was, whatever it was deciding to do there. my waistband and I'll go in half. So we're going to look at the skirt, hold it to find Heavy with this fabric, okay. Definitely a little more work with this fabric and heaviness. Woo. Was not planning out, was not thinking that part out, but it's so pretty. I had the galaxy looking like fabric and the shirt the fabric I used for the main part of the shirt already and then I wasn't quite happy with them together but I knew the idea I was going for then I seen this while looking online and I knew that's what I wanted I didn't plan out the thinking of, again, quite how heavy it was, but, all right, so this will be, well, at the back, it's right here, where the seam is. Let's see, I can mark where this one goes here, this spot, for every quarter, here, and here. I'm sure the video is hard to see totally. I'm trying to do my best. I'm sorry.
So this is one of the sides right here. We're going to try to put this in this here. So we got the back and one side clipped. You have to stretch the um, waistband as I sew it and clip it to fit on here. So that's going to be part of this. This is not usually a fun task, but you get used to doing it. It gets easier. You figure out ways that make it not quite as difficult for you, usually. Like the clips instead of the pins. Whew. The pins was very difficult when I was trying to do the hat, like I said. Uh, I did not realize, but... I only started sewing with the machine, what was that, like March, April, I'm not sure. It was to make masks, and then machine sewing was for clothes. It was not very long ago at all. The Captain Marvel outfit that I've done a video in that showing was the very first outfit I've made. Before that, it was hand sewing or um, in that or F and that was smaller, more things like I did a um, tail for my Bowsette, but and I made little dresses for my dog it keeps trying to roll there we go I got that side some clipped <sighs> This fabric gets frustrating, but like I said, I've already seen how the top came together. It is going to be so worth it. I'm, I can't wait to have this whole outfit done. It keeps rolling though, and eek. I just wish that would stop. Whew. God, it's just on this video, this part of the video since I started again, it's been 30 minutes. I hope you guys don't mind sticking with me this long because there's a longer video before that. <sighs> this is like the longest, everything else has just been quick videos showing you my what I've made. I don't know if you guys, and some of this has been boring watching me fill a bobbin and <laughs> that. Uh. I'm telling the and I'll tell the cat she can't beg. <laughs> Alright, getting another side section pinned. I mean clipped. sliding on me. I really can't stand how slick this fabric is. I really can't. But it's worth it. It's so worth it. I mean, it's so beautiful looking. I 
fabric has, the main shirt fabric has Space Mom on it. And come on, you need something so amazing like this to go with her. All right. I'm a little nervous doing this on here. Like, please don't have, let me mess up while I'm video and mess up my sewing, but let's give this a go. I have this like whole silly irrational fear that because I'm doing the video that it'll be like some colossal mistake made. <laughs> but I'm being silly. Right. There we go. First part, so I know I spanned around. I definitely wasn't thinking the video would be this long, but hey, I hope you guys like it. Oh, come on. Stop sliding. Be nice. Come on. Let's get along with me here. I'll have to change my thread when I go to do the next part of this part of this because this thread isn't going to work for what I want to do next but we have to go all the way around the skirt first now don't we we gotta finish that part <laughs> Actually, in high school, when it was, my teacher gave me brochures and stuff for school for fashion design, and I had dreams of going there, and it just never happened. And it's nice that it's nothing close to that, but I'm doing something that I'm getting to make my own clothes. I'm getting a little bit of, it's not truly what I had dreamed, but it's a little bit there and it's something and even if I'm the only one that enjoys my clothes that's enough
getting there. We're getting there. see the other end coming so that's something yay yay that makes me like actually truly happy <laughs> oh, this is fabric it's uh not exactly the easiest to work with but it's okay This is like gonna be a very like dramatic type outfit with the velvet, like crushed velvet and the cape and the hood and mm, I love it. The drama to my wardrobe. In fact, I talked about makes me want to dual wield uh, uh, sabers like Ahsoka. And my favorite dual wielder is in the fabric that is in the top, even. So that's like a yay right there. This is just. Some of the colors don't really match exactly. I know some people are not going to be, it's not going to be their thing, but to me, it's coming out just how I'm envisioning it. It's making me so excited seeing it come together. close to the end on this one. I'll have to change the uh, thread here soon. Then, except for the hemming, this skirt will be done. Yeah. Oh, I just hate how this rolls and moves. So the seams and stuff are not going to be perfect, but eh, what's per ever perfect, you know? The friend points out to me she says, look at some of the stuff in the stores, none of that's even perfect. And it's true. We get hard on ourselves, but sometimes we need to look around and remind ourselves of that stuff. I, mean, I bought a dress once from a department store. Ordered it online, got it. And it wasn't even hemmed at the bottom. 
was not afraid. come out. Whoop, last one. I still don't know where that one flew. Alright, it's almost there to that where I started. We're almost back where we started. Okay. Where's those scissors? Ah, here they are. Now the important thing, let me make sure I didn't miss any spots because we don't want any gaps. Easier to go back over it and fix it now than to tear the whole thing apart once I close this off, so. See, there's the waistband on there, and then I've still got to fold the waistband over. But isn't that pretty? All right. Um, where's my light? Ah. Oh, I need that thread. We'll have to come down to six. Take that foot off. That was my walking foot. We thread this with the lighter thread. Let's see, is it gonna go through? I think it needs to be cut. Let's see. I'm just all about throwing those little clips around. There we go. Alright, now let's see. Oops, don't go in that. We gotta get rid of that bobbin. Having light colored? Yes, I do. I have a light colored bobbin. Yay! You don't have, just don't have to watch me but do a bobbin again. Yay! <laughs> Put this up. Throwing stuff around. Can't keep things in my hands today. Those. The, uh, get those ends out. There we go. All right. Oops. There's some ends I didn't cut. There we go. Well, let's see. actually use pins this time. It'll just be a little easier with this part. Folding this over and pinning it. And here I'm going to hide to hide up the stitching in here. So
<sighs> oh, you guys are probably bored as you watch me do this part. I'm sorry. <sighs> We're gonna just go through, pin this. I will use the I've been using the overlock stitch on everything else. This one I'm going to change the stitch. I put and do um, my stretch zigzag to just go through this. So that when it stretches, it has enough give. Okay. A spot right there. I don't know if you notice, I don't put where it meets with this as lines up with a seam here. Because I don't want one of the seams to go straight down the front of me. I want it to go to the side. Um, and this the seam at the waistband will go straight in the back. I want the line, I don't want the line to go right down. I want it to be on the sides to going down. If that makes sense. So it's not as obvious. It more blends and kind of flows with the skirt. There are ways to make the circle skirt without doing as much as sewing of the panels. Um, I like doing the panels like this because if your fabric's not big enough, wide enough, um, if you have where it goes multi-directional fabrics, like a lot of my ones with things on it, then you don't have to worry about if, if you do it with one of the other ways stuff's going to be upside down this way nothing will be upside down there are everything will be facing the wrong, right way the same way um if you have something that's all one pattern that doesn't matter it is there it is faster you fold it all like over a quarter and you just don't cut on the folded lines um, there's videos for that that will show you I don't do that way so I'm not the best to help you with that um, I prefer like I said doing it this way I, I do a lot with patterns and I want them I don't want anything upside down or that and if something's not wide enough I want to be able to still use it without worrying about that especially I like a lot of flannel I love flannel skirts <laughs> but yeah here's what I say this is the back see it's in the middle more and then these are over to the side so all right this in here and then once I do this this will be complete as far as I can do tonight then I'll be hemmed um, I just gotta finish the shirt and make the socks so let's get this going Oh, got caught up. My nail got caught up in there. All right, so let's see how we do with this. All right.
about what's going on and did I ah uh, yeah I let that go in the wrong spot and all right I'll finish what I'm doing and see if I can fix it all right things happen we'll see what we can do to fix it but let's finish what we're doing Something, I knew something was feeling weird there. I couldn't figure out exactly why it was feeling weird to me. <sighs> Things happen. Mistakes happen. It's okay. If I have to, I can cut off the band and do a new one. I have a little a more. I have extra of that fabric. I can figure it out. I'm going to finish what I'm doing now, and we'll see how bad it is. mistakes happen and we have seen rippers for a reason too so yeah so might this be the same ripper situation we're just gonna finish what we're doing and then we'll see what the situation looks like Almost done now, so hey. See how bad that down there happened and we'll see what we need to do no big deal
Let's see. Oh. Let's see. It felt like it. Oh, yeah. So here. It tucked down and did that. So I'm probably going to have to figure out what to do to if I have to seam wrap or what I got to do to fix that section. Oh, huh. Or see about maybe I just put a stitch in and see if that makes us a cute waistband. It might. So we'll see what happens. Actually, it does look like it might have made a cute waistband. And it's not far from where this in the front where the center is. So in the front top is a crop top, so you would see the center here. And we might try it on and leave it and see how we go. Alright. Thank you for joining me. Sorry the video was so long. Alright. I'm gonna hang this and him it again soon and you'll see the whole outfit before long. Alright, bye.